Welcome to V Music Ideas. So here we are in another lesson and in this lesson you are going to learn D major. Now why D major? Because in the previous lesson we have already learned A minor and E major and this is time for D major because these three chords makes a perfect melody when they sound together and um, the transition is easy. Yes, you are going to do transition of three chords in this lesson because you have already done transition of two in the previous lesson. If you have not seen that, please go and check out that lesson and follow the rest of the beginner's guitar series. So without any delay, let's go to D major. D major is a chord which is made up of three notes, like any other chords, and the triad has D, F sharp, and A. Now, how to play D major? Just like the chords we have played last time, we are going to uh, learn the finger position and then we are going to learn the transition and yes, in this lesson you are going to learn a new strumming pattern just based on the last lesson. So don't forget to check out the last lesson. Okay, now if we talk about T major, A minor and E major we have learned. They were, be, they were played in like first and second frets, but this lesson you will be utilizing second fret and the third fret. Okay, so your first finger, second finger and third finger. Your first finger goes to second fret, one, two, three, and on the third string. And you play your first string with your second finger, so like this. Have a look. First finger on the third string and second finger on the first string of second fret yes they both are in the same fret now you take your third finger and move it to next fret yes that is third fret on the second string so come from lower end one two that's it and here you keep it yes that's it so again have a look first finger on the third string second finger on the first string same fret and third finger goes to next fret which is like second string okay and yes just hit this Wonderful sound. Try to avoid hitting this E string because it doesn't belong to this chord until and unless you are playing advanced version of this, like seventh note and all that. But um, sorry, like the second note. But till that time, this is good if you hit like lower four or five string. Okay, so now what you need to learn for the transition to make it easy. Let's just learn, play the, all the chords that we have learned so far. So A and E from the last lesson and D from this lesson. So we are going to play D and we're going to jump to A minor. We'll come back to E, uh, D and then we are going to E. So D, then A, then back to D and then E. That's it. All four four strums that you have learned in last lesson. Okay, I told you like we are going to learn, learn uh, one more new strumming in this lesson. But first, let's take the strumming from last lesson, which is four beats and every beat is down. One, two, three, four, down, 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 down. That's it. So I'm going to hold D and play the lesson for you. One, two. Three, E major. One, two, three, four. So beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to reduce the gap and move it to two gaps uh, between like each chord. Okay. So one, two, three, play. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Back to the one. Two, one, two, three, four, E, two, one, two, three, four. Remember, if you are practicing with gaps, those gaps are not to think anything else than your next chord. Think about your next chord and try to move your fingers. When you are done with four gaps, then move it to two gaps. If you want, you can try like one gap also and then try to do it without any gap. Okay, so now I'll play it without any gap for you. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And E major. Two, two, three, four. That's it.
that it's so easy. Time to learn a new pattern now. So if, if I talk about strumming patterns, you have learned only down is from. Time to learn up is from. What up? Yes, up. So with every strum, with every beat, one, two, three, four, we will add a second strum. That's it. Second strum. That's it. Okay, so we are going to play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then up. That's it. Let's play. One, two. Um, the up count, usually people count it like N count because these both are like eighth notes or uh, quavers, uh, like uh, you call it in Western culture. So it's um, down, up, down, up. So we can call it like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so the end gaps we are going to fill with up one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and a minor jump to a minor back so easy and such a good melody so keep practicing and when you're done with this switch to next lesson